Let's bring back the uh, homemade banjo I had on some time ago I made. Anyway, I was gonna show it once more. Uh, it's a full size banjo, like, you know, and uh, I made uh, the neck out of a uh, poplar, this piece here. It's all one piece up, <clears throat> right up with the peg head. It's all one piece. I put uh, African, African mahogany uh, overlay on the peg head here, and then on the back I put a piece of maple overlay. And of course you got the, your tuners. Of course I bought those. They're uh, they're decent tuners. They're not really expensive tuners, but they're they're decent. I made a fingerboard out piece of African mahogany, and uh, I used small frets in it. Then the uh, right here, the uh, poplar turns to. I started here with a mahogany, African mahogany from the, and used mahogany through the hoop, fastened to the back of the hoop. And it was made a tailpiece out of leather. They did that a lot in the old days. I don't, you know, use leather. And uh, so that's really, this is a Remoon, I think they call them, or E-M-O-N. It's just like a hand drum uh, thing. They seem to be really, you know, strong. <clears throat> a lot of the uh, rims, you know, banjo rims are really expensive. This is, I think, uh, 10 inch. And I left a space here, so you, usually your fingerboard would run all the way down, and you're trying to get away from that. Uh, on this one, I run the fingerboard like 12 frets, and just, cause I don't play down here. You know, the bluegrass guys, they play down there. So that's the reason I only run 12 frets. But I went ahead and put this in anyway. So they call it a scoop. This is not really a scoop, but it just gets you away from the fingerboard if it's down there. Anyway, I'll play a couple of little short tunes on it. That's about it. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.